This is Christina, and you're watching Custom Games. Welcome back to stream. Remember, host Christina, and tonight we're in Car Mechanic Sim, and I'm joined by Chase. Say hi, Chase. Mm. And it is another one of those days where it is Tales from Grandpa Chase. <laughs> and uh, while Chase is telling his wonderful stories, um, I'm going to be working on the mystery machine. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, uh, seen better days. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and let's get this washed off, shall we? <laughs> Just to see what's under all the dirt. Rust. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're going to have some work to do here. Uh, car lift A. <laughs> All right, move equipment. Go ahead and use the equipment to repair the main frame. Don't you wish it was that easy, Chase? Uh-huh. <laughs> that ain't fair. Go ahead and pull all the parts off that are a problem. That headlight's not going to stay. That door's not going to stay. That bumper's not going to stay. Near is that door. Nope. Leave car. Okay, looks like it's a single carb overhead. Normal mode. Oh, it's a it's a freaky overhead. Okay, uh, let's see. Can I swap in a single carb or a dual carb overhead? No. Vito H Vito. What yeah, but it's a short block. Because it's a snub nose van. That should be a V8 OHV. I would disagree. But we can pull it. Uh, up on the left, she shall go. Boog asks, uh, hey Chase, any stories about power or substations? Um, no. Well, I mean, you do have power over telephone. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, yeah, I've told the story before. I yeah, mean, you have. Stripping a wire and getting a phone call at the same time. Um,. You know, I've been fortunate enough in my escapades to never have had to deal with anything more than 1,400 volts, so. Mm. Only 1,400? <laughs> yeah. And a pause check and hydrate from Boog. Thank you, Boog. I mean, everyone here has dealt with between 600 and 1,000 volts with their bare hands.
You ever reach for a car door in winter and get shocked? No. You've never gotten zapped by static electricity, reaching for a car door, moving across the house with socks on. Okay, well, across the house with socks on, that kind of stuff, I've gotten shocked. But I've never yeah. had the specific example of getting shocked by a car door. <laughs> you were like the only person in the world. <laughs> Um, bare minimum voltage to get across an air gap of that size in particular winter temperatures between 600 and 1,000 volts. Hmm. Ah, so what fun stories do you have for us then? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which ones to tell and which ones I haven't told. And... I'll start asking. <laughs> I'll tell so you Cassie's which ones I know. Still, Cassie's still riding the high from me talking about repossessing that car. Oh, I did. I did the other night. Was uh, went looking through old archives, looking for something, and uh, ended up coming across a backup of a cell phone that I had. Okay. And it was a backup of the phone that I had when I was the service manager at the Ford place. And so it was just picture after picture after picture of VIN plate mileage, VIN plate mileage, VIN plate mileage, oh repair order, repair order, repair order, repair order, VIN plate mileage, VIN plate mileage. <laughs> Every picture I would need for warranty. Oh, that reminds me. I got to find this picture to share with me and memes. Um... Where's the folder? Where'd the folder go? Um, the last time I went tower climbing. Hmm? Where is... Um, okay, I've got one for you. I've got a question that should spark a story. Oh, God. Or I hope it sparks a story. Oh, Jesus. So no pressure. You and I were watching that collab video between Adam Savage, the slow-mo guys, and Bobby Fingers. Yeah. And Adam talked about, he called it the Mythbusters moment. And it's that moment where you... You know, right before you do something where you just stand back and go, how the hell did I get here? <laughs> Have you ever had one of those moments? Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> a few times. Most memorable one, then? Uh...
Let's see. Which, by the way, chat, while he's thinking about that, um, if you have not seen the video that the slow mo guys, Bobby Fingers, and Adam Savage have collabed on, highly worth a watch. Um, it, it's, I, I could try and explain it, but it's better to let be left to the professionals. Um, <laughs> There are three videos, one on each of those channels. Okay. Found the, the picture I was looking for that I can get ready to share to media memes. Picture I just shared to media memes was a brand new brake pedal assembly that we received for warranty work. And my tech opened it and said, I'm not using this brake pedal. Oh, and when God. I went out and said why, I immediately knew why he wasn't using the brake pedal. Uh, Bonus points for anyone that tells me what's wrong with that brake pedal. Can you drop it in our chat, Chase? Just yeah, so I don't have to nice. click through. One second. Oh God, the taller photo than I was hoping for. Uh, wait, <laughs> other than it's bent weird. Oh, it's bent to hell and back. Okay, is, just, is that it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Brand new $1,400 brake pedal. You don't expect to be bent to hell and back first thing out of the box. When it took us four weeks to get that one. Eh. Maybe that's why it took you four weeks to get that one. Damn uh, you. Okay. I submitted the uh, warranty thing to Ford, and I'm like, hey, I, you know, I just got this. It's bad out of the box. And they go, how do you know it's bad out of the box if you haven't installed it? And I, I sent them the picture and they went, oh. <laughs> uh, and then there is one quick more picture. I'll drop it to you first, Christina. Okay. Made me unreasonably angry when I opened these diesel oil filters. Whole box, all of them was turned the same direction except for that one singular filter. <laughs> it made me so angry. Um, back to your question about the how did I get here moments. Um, as you know, I'm a ham radio operator. And I was at a convention one time. And I went to a booth where these this particular brand of microphone was on display. Called Heil Microphones. And it's fantastic microphones, great sound quality. And I got to looking and I'm like, holy crap, that's Bob Heil the guy who invented these microphones. He was at the convention. And I'm talking to him, and we're talking about his microphones and stuff. And this guy walks up and starts talking to him too, and they're they're laughing. You know, you can tell they're all buddies. And then I look up at the person, because I'm getting ready to go about the rest of my day, you know, you know, thank you, Bob, for your time, yada, yada, yada. And I look at the person, and it's Joe Walsh. And I said, holy crap, you're Joe Walsh. And he just kind of laughed and smiled. And Christina, I can tell by the look on your face, you have no idea who Joe Walsh is. Nope. <laughs> He's the lead singer for the Eagles. Oh. <laughs> is that all? <laughs> <laughs> 
And we chit chatted for a second. He told me, he says, you're the only person that's recognized me here today. Did that make you and feel old? <laughs> it, 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 okay, no. So, Christina, the thing is, is I was probably the youngest person at this convention, okay? <laughs> no, it didn't make me feel old. <laughs> uh, it made me feel embarrassed for everyone else that so they didn't recognize Joe Walsh. Um, yeah, apparently Joe Walsh and Bob Heil are really good friends, and all the microphones the Eagles use are Heil microphones. Hmm. And yeah, Boog, um, I'm a licensed general operator, or general class operator. That's what my username is, is that's my federally assigned call sign. Crankshaft, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, and remember like two Grandpa Chase episodes ago, I was talking about that girl that would bald the tires on her Mustang and she brought her dad in to cuss at us until we showed him that she was treating her car like a drag car. Mm-hmm. I found a picture of one of the tires. Oh no. Because <laughs> I have things like this coming. The medium means is up first because that was the last one I was in. Next okay. is you, Christina. Oh, didn't get a water pump play. <laughs> is that a tire or is that steel belts? <laughs> <laughs> it's barely steel belts. If you listen closely, you can hear that tire calling for help. <laughs> God. Yeah, I was looking through some weird memory lane pictures the other night when I was going through all this. Let's see. Two A, three A. Three A's, a power steering pump that I haven't played with before. HVF Idler Roller A, three of them, and an alternator, which is not going to be in here. No. Electronics, alternator I6B. I'm currently skimming back through these dealership pictures to see if there's anything else I can share. Hmm. Particularly, I'm looking for ROs that I can look at the descriptions on and see if anything hilarious is in there. Serpentine for Beto HVF. Hmm. Um... I was going to say, the other thing we could talk about is, uh, I know we kind of talked about it last episode of Grandpa Chase, but we never really did the full, like, deep dive into it. Weirdest customer states versus what it actually was. Bah. Uh. Let's see, let's see, when you get into the verses, what it actually was is <laughs> like, like the largest discrepancy is what I'm looking for here. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't tell you how many times it's, you know, complaint was this and it's just because they had it turned off and didn't realize it. Um, like the, the customers that would not use their running boards for a while. So they quit deploying and then they'd be like, my running boards are broken. You walk out and go beep beep, and they just deep. Mm. Um, oh, Chase, you and I still have to watch the uh, Humvee video from Grindhard Plumbing. Yeah, 
I was thinking about that because I was looking at the flywheel that I was just working with, and that reminded me about a problem that the guys had with one of their Humvees. <laughs> oh, boy. They had a Bluetooth flywheel. Bluetooth flywheel, do you say? Yeah. <laughs> Rather, a flywheel that was trying to become Bluetooth. <laughs> um, for lack of a better way of describing it, standard flywheel. You know the where it bolts in uh, around the center. Okay. Okay. Leave it attached to the engine. But then take a blow like an oxycetylene torch and try oh, and God. cut around the center to cut oh. the flywheel off and let it actually come all the way free, but don't actually pull the flywheel out. Oh so now the God. center and the flywheel are not attached, but they are a friction fit because the cut is too perfect. <laughs> That's hilarious. They were taking one of these Humvees down the road, and it just—it sounded. Um, if you, I know you and I watched the behind the scenes for the uh, Christopher Nolan Batman's at one point. You know yeah. how they talked about when they were in the tumbler, the tumbler was un was loud as hell to drive because it had straight cut gears okay make it louder than that <laughs> oh boy have you ever seen CEE -E? no I, I don't know what that is Boog so I'm gonna say no eight pistons Eight sets of rings. and two OHVF heads. Uh, oil filter V8. Engine head. OHVF. Two of them. Push rods are different. But no, that entire episode from them was kind of special. <laughs> Cutting edge engineering. It's an Australian company that does welding and machining videos. Interesting. Yeah, these guys, um, they're called Grindhard Plumbing. Um, I haven't seen anything on their channel about plumbing. <laughs> uh, maybe that's their day job. Okay, crankshaft maybe. bearing cap. Three of them. And a rod. Cap. Eight of them. Um, we might as well do the valve push rods for V O H V F. Sixteen of them. But yeah. If anything, that. Uh, video just reinforced that one of these days I really want to try and get 
like a Humvee off of Gov Planet auction or from a surplus auction of some kind and just see if I can get it home. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like that would be fun. <laughs> While you're not wrong, fun is a word for that. <laughs> Having messed with actual surplus Humvees, I can tell you fun goes out the window within about 16 seconds. Okay, I'm sorry. Messed with actual surplus Humvees demands a story, sir. <laughs> Maybe I... <laughs> When you know as many people as I do, things kind of rotate in and out. Oh. Yeah, I had a buddy of mine that ended up buying one, and he needed to change the rear main seal on the engine, which required pulling the engine. Um, so, I mean, I have helped pull an engine on an original style Humvee. It was easy and difficult all at the same time. Because essentially they just unbolt. But, uh, heavy ass motor. Also, on a side note, show of hands, who wants a blackmail chase picture? Yes. <laughs> How young were you in that photo? <laughs> Eighth grade. Oh, God. Ignition distributor A. Distributor cap, distributor rotor. And clip B. Oh, did I have any? I happen to have two. Currently, have a multi part series tearing down a small crane and replacing everything. Interesting. The latest vid was remanufacturing the end section of the boom. <laughs> I might have to check that out. Speaking of manufacturing, like, this reminded me of a YouTuber that I need to sit down and watch all their videos again. Oh, the boy. guy's name is Click Spring. Oh, is that the one that did the, uh... Clock? He's currently working on... He's currently working on... Well, it's been put to the side right now. A, a copy of the Antikythera mechanism. That's it. Yep. He made a clock by hand. And he makes his own... Like, if he needs a, a, a broaching tool, he will go, Oh, I don't have one. Give me one second and he'll make one. Hmm? out of tooling steel and then come back and broach out the hole he needs or he goes oh I'm out of these screws let's make some real quick and he's just so nice to listen to because he just starts out every video with good day click spring here and you're just oh so he's got like this perfect voice for talking through things as he's making stuff And if he's trying to explain a complicated concept, he'll put CAD drawings up and show it. Like anime CAD drawings. It's really nice. My favorite thing is when he makes screws and he goes through and he blues them. And they are this most brilliant blue color that you've ever seen. I have leveled up. Yay. 
I've put together so many engines that I have leveled up. <laughs> Cover A. Head cover A. Oh. Boog says he bought the crane in an auction, and the deeper he digs into this project, the worse the damage gets. Best was water draining out of one of the axles. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, there's a good and bad thing to me wanting to do something like that Gov Planet auction. The bad is, knowing my luck, I'm going to get the one that dies 10, mi 10 minutes into the operation. <laughs> and there is no other option but to tow it home because of how it dies. I mean, to be honest, it's a risk you take with some of these projects. Mission wires. Zero HBF. Your filter base. Also, there's the air filter, air filter base, air filter cover. Almost done with the engine. Yay! I think I've got all the parts on. Yep, 100% engine. Uh, before we go any further, let's do our level up. We have nine skill Ooh, points up. available. Ooh, um, ability to fix body parts. That'd be nice. My leg. What? You said fix body parts. All right. Um, why don't we go ahead and put the rest of the body back together and let's well, first of all, let's go ahead and parts, parts, body. No part, no body parts available. Okay. So I need doors, fenders, hood. I basically need one of everything. What body parts do you need? One, one what? One body. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead, let's do the body shop. Actually, body tuning shop. Do we wanna make it the mystery machine or the mystery machine? <laughs> I have some bigger bumpers I can put on. Oh. <laughs> um. um. Mystery machine. Not calm mystery machine. 
<laughs> yeah. One, uh, everything on this. We need, we need Mystery Machine like a normal person would say it, not the way Lawrence Fishburne would say it. Fair enough. <laughs> Hey, assemble mode. Front right. Front right. There's the door. There's the mirror. Windshield. The hood. Oh, if only a windshield was that easy to install. <laughs> Headlights are auto aligned. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> There's a couple of vehicles I've worked on at this point that actually have headlights that uh, come free of their uh, housing. So you can replace the headlight, mount, the, mount it back into the housing, and as long as the housing was held still, you don't have to realign the headlights. Um, canonically, what license plate did the mystery machine have? I don't ever oh. remember the mystery machine having a plate. Yeah, it had one. Uh. Huh. I actually don't remember that. Mystery Inc. AC-712. Well, according to one of the wikis, there's been six different plates. Okay. AC-712 is one of them. Mystery Inc.'s one of them. Um, <laughs> Zoinks is one of them. Uh, in the new movie they did Scoob uh, S-C-B-Y-S-N-K Scooby Snack Okay uh, In the series Mystery Incorporated You know the one where they're back in Crystal Cove And all that stuff with uh, Mr. Yeah. E is all involved uh, That license plate was just 345-600 which one do we want? I don't know. I get eight characters. <laughs> Stu Mystery. Uh, where do we want to license it? Somewhere like the PNW, since Crystal Cove is supposed to be in PNW. Washington, then? Yeah, it works. Washington, and you want mystery? Yeah. Mystery. Who? 
Two of them. One for the front. One. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> Normal mode. Okay, let's move it to the paint shop and paint it real quick, and then we can do all the under the hood and everything work. Cool. I brought it in on Gojax. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I've reset. <laughs> okay. No! It's a team or none. That's rude. Wait a minute. Let me look at the uh, workshop and see if anyone else has done it. <laughs> also, my brain's doing that weird shuffle thing with music, and now I can't get creep by radio head out of my head. Library. I can make it a snap on van. Lol. What, for 87 easy payments of every paycheck you have? <laughs> uh, no one has done this library. I am ashamed in this community. <laughs> really? Yeah, no one's done it. Sadness. Just cover our bases. I'm just scrolling the libraries real, real quick. Um, yeah, no. Cargo has surprisingly little in the way of customization. Oh, that's sad. Um, now, the nice thing about this is we can make our own. Um, you and I are going to have to talk off stream. <laughs> no, God. <laughs> so, so the texture mapping begins. For the time being, let's give it a color. Um, I need to look up the mystery machine because I'm blanking on the color. Mystery machine. Okay, so the main color was that lightish blue. Maybe sort of that color. Agreed? Alec Flake. What? Is that the blue? No. No. It's too dark. No, it's more of a darker teal than it is a blue. I mean, every. Get me this. Get me the image you're looking at, because the stuff I'm looking at is saying that's basically it. Oh, are you looking at? Oh, I bet I know what you're looking at. You're looking at that one. 
Um, get me. Of all the images of the mystery machine, you had to pull. You pulled that one. <laughs> it was the first one I. You know what? Hold on. I'll start pulling more. <laughs> Here's the one I'm looking at that I'm pulling the blue. Like everybody who's building one is putting blue. I mean, that color is a blue. It's just more teal than anything else. Here, here's one from the show. <laughs> That's more that color. I think, yeah, probably. And then we'll just make sure the green and orange are very illuminating. <laughs> Agreed? Yeah. Okay, there's our mystery machine blue. Left one. All right, we will complete the setup of the truck and then to complete the actual everything, we're going to have to uh, do a little work off stream. Steering wheel. Ba -ba -ba. Interior steering wheels. Okay, do we have a better image of the steering? spoke more black uh, I mean we could do that one best we're gonna get interior assemble give it a steering wheel great no I do not have an option for a bench seat in the front sorry <laughs> okay um, tires for the front Sixteen, two twenty-five, seventy-five, sixteen. Two twenty-five, seventy-five, sixteen. Uh, it was black wall. Give it a standard tire. Probably. Right there. Standard work. Uh, A or B. Higher quality tire. They drove a lot. They'll get the higher quality. 225. Wow. Nav. Oh. 16. 225. 75 is what I said. I don't remember. 225. I'm not in 75. 16. 225. 75. Done. 16. 12, 14, 17, 8, 9, 20, 85, 45, 299, 88, 14. Are you sure that's the right size? I don't think that's the right size. You bought the wrong size tire, Christina. <laughs> God damn you. 
Okay, rims. You're not going to get orange rims. <laughs> there are no orange rims in here. <laughs> well, I mean, they, 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 because they had hubcaps. Okay, we're not going to get hubcaps. <laughs> um, the trade. Just do, do a five spoke. Like that? It's a simple five spoke, yeah. Retro 11? Yeah. All right. That gets me the front tires. So let's finish building the engine compartment, and then we'll worry to we'll worry about the ancillary stuff in a minute. Um, so we do need a battery. We need fuse box base A, which means we'll also need cover A. And. We're going to need the windshield washer reservoir, brake servo, radiator, C. Let's do this. Uh, main shot. Windshield washer reservoir. Reservoir. Radiator, C. Go to the brakes section, brake servo. I think I got it all. Okay. Steering reservoir, radiator C, washer reservoir, brake servo. Go ahead and fill up all the fluids while I'm remembering. To get this view, I would have to be against the firewall right now. Yeah, and? <laughs> you never crawled in next to a block and given it a hug? <laughs> never needed to. Personally. Goes it with the lemons? There are no lemons. Take three, three B's, three C's, two A's. Three B's, two C's. Two A. Three B. Three C's. A three B one C two A three B one C two A three B one C. You sunk my battleship. Very sorry for that phone notification. <laughs> Rude. Okay. 
think I got all of the fuses I need. Yeah. All right, let's build the fuse box. Random car pop quiz. So in those fuses that you're putting in, you see on either end there's those two tiny slits. Do you know what they're for? Nope. <laughs> it's for testing a fuse in place. Oh, that makes sense. The blades of the fuse are slightly exposed for you to put test probes down into in continuity mode if it beeps the fuse is good hmm. you check a whole fuse box in seconds versus pulling each fuse looking at it and putting it back and putting undue wear on the friction connections of the fuse panel here we Exhaust section. Exhaust section. Wait, we have two of them. Since we have a rear end to rebuild, we won't do that yet. Um, exhaust pipe. Front exhaust pipe. V8 LH. Two of them. Okay, suspension cross member D. Is the normal bottom suspension arm A? Two of those upper suspension arm, two of those. And 
going to be out of rubber bushings before the end of this. Who knew? <laughs> there it was! <laughs> Way quicker than I thought it would be. Just stock up again. See the ABS pump I need to do. Axle knuckle cover. Run to axle knuckle cover tool. Um, let's see. Front wheel hub is just the one. We know we need two of them. We know we're going to need two wheel hub bearings and two wheel hub caps. Those are sort of just givens at this point. Bearing and cap. The other side. out here. Thank you. Hub bearing, hub cap, front end link B for the sway bar. And it's a double wishbone. Two of those. Two front springs, two front caps. Attach the sway bar. Go ahead and build the front shocks. You ever had the joys of using the spring compressor? Once. I was terrified for my life. <laughs> I have a healthy respect and fear of them. Because the missile knows where it is at all times. <laughs> we had a tech that was terrified to use them. So we'd always take every advantage we could when we saw him using one. You're mean. No, no, no. <laughs> Sadistic, yes. Mean, no. Was it also hilarious to hear his scream as he jumped halfway across the shop? Yes, yes, it was. Does it have to be Rim 35? Is it seriously not allowing the... Oh, I know why. Did you ever remount everything, Christina? I'll let you answer that question. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, it may have been just me, but I never had a problem balancing. 
they were rather easy. <laughs> Bye, Boog. Night, Boog. They're they're rather easy until you get that one tire that sh that one wheel that's just slightly warped. And every time you add the weight where it's supposed to go, it throws it a little off. Need two cats. Two metal mufflers. Exhaust pipe. Okay, then. <laughs> then there's mufflers behind it, I assume. Yep. V8 rear muffler. Rear muffler, not B. Rear muffler V8. Two of them. All right, front of the rear suspension is done now, minus the drive shaft. Now, I mean, Chiba, yeah, to be honest, with those warped wheels, sometimes it, you were adding almost the weight of the wheel in to get it to balance. Or the tire balancer tells you to put a pound on, and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> mm. Unmount time. Also, I just looked at my funding. Um, we might be selling the king. <laughs> Any qualms? <laughs> no, I mean we've we did a bunch to it already. Building this rear end is uh, going to be costly. Well, maybe not. There's a lot on here I might be able to save. Um, I just have to go through and try and fix all the parts. Yeah. Both bolts are seized up. Okay, take these bushings out. Those will be replaced. He says this is what a sandblaster is for. You're not wrong, Cheeb. Unfortunately, you do need metal left for a sandblaster. Um, nah. In fact, if you add aluminum powder to your blasting media, then it will uh, replace the metal that it's removing. Lost a rear axle. Uh, 
Oh, I lost both axles. <laughs> This is the type of the arcade game that I don't like playing. <laughs> okay, I did save the rear ax the rear axle setup, so. The rear pumpkin, as it were. <laughs> So, I did cut some cost. <laughs> ah. bolt in one place like I just I already know I need those um, and we also might as well get the rear drive axles while I'm here <laughs> Lol. one plate one you bolt <laughs> housing I need one knuckle housing C wheel hub three I need one wheel hub three Um, let's see if I can cut the brake discs. It'll let me. Desk. Two sets of pads. I have two calipers and two cylinders. I still gotta build the tires, so we're not ready for that yet. Okay, let's put drive shaft in. Yeah. 
And let's build some tires. Tires I need. Uh, oh, good. 225, 75, 16. So I can do the same order I just did. Uh, standard tire B, 16, 225. 242, 14, 85, Norton, 144, 16, 42. What? You done? No, never. Just warning you right now, never try to count dollar bills around me. together and now I'm taking them back apart. <laughs> Let's try that again. tank and thinking aloud I probably need a fuel pump okay now I just gotta go up front and do the ABS I forgot to do that Oh, that's why it's down there. <laughs> Electronics, ABS pump, ABS module. She's ready. Minus the library, which you and I have to talk about off stream. <laughs> Yay. Warm up Photoshop. <laughs> oh, God. Now let's put this on Carl FB to get it out of the way. And let's go ahead and from the parking. Let's get Tempus Magnum back. Let's go ahead and sell this. Thirty-four grand, I will take. Wow. Chase can never escape making custom assets for the games played on stream. <laughs> says Cassie. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's do it. So if we come back to the main menu, I just oh, saved. I think we go... What is it? Car showroom? No, don't ask me to think this late into my brain melting. Yeah, 
There it is. I went right past it twice. Ah, uh, let's go with bolt cargo. And now, wait a minute, that brings up an interesting question. Oh, okay, so apparently I can do... I can switch the car once I'm in there? What about the Express? Okay, they all have the same library set. This is the extra bumper I was telling you about. Okay, um, we we're probably going to have to look at this off stream because I don't remember how to do the libraries and I am worried it's going to try and... Nope, not what I want. I'm I need files from your game you do? directory. Yep. That's what I was worried about. Okay. Um, so now, since the mystery machine is almost done, Looking at all of these cars. <laughs> Is there one we want to do next? Because I'll spend some time off stream finding one. I mean, if you can find a... One of the cheap trucks to do. That'd be fun. One of the Jeep trucks? Like from Twister. Yeah, like from Twister. Uh, did one Any of those show up in this list? I don't know. That's what I was asking. Jeep, uh... this is Crown Vic Drifter. Oh, no. Uh, well, I could get you a uh, hero truck. <laughs> oh, this is standard Jeep bodies of the Laredo Cherokees, not a truck. They never put J bodies in anything. Wait. Oh, um, let's see. Jeep. Jeep Wrangler, Cherokee, XJ. Got XJ Cherokees. I don't have the XJ uh, trucks. Oh. What? It's yawning, sorry. <laughs> Jag SJS is supposed to be an easy car to work on. I don't trust you, Chiba. Also, that's not what you asked for there, but, um... No, I ain't doing that engine. Nope. Hard pass. <laughs> um, no, what you need to do is, uh, if they have one, do a Bugatti, because it's a W engine instead of a V engine. Yeah. Uh... No Bugattis right now. 
Oh, that's a good thing. Because they are nightmares. Um. All the vacuum lines here. Nope. Yeah. Station wagon. The high road. Got to pimp out a station wagon. Set up for the next National Lampoon's uh, vacation movie. <laughs> no. Now it's set up for the next National Lampoon's. Wow. That's so rude. <laughs> No libraries, it's that. Close. Um. Yeah, it's not. Hmm. Hey, what about? I wonder if we could do Jonas's truck. Ah, uh, I need to find a suburban in that era. Not a suburban, dent it to hell, paint it black. Done. Dent it to hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you not know, actually looked at that thing in that movie? It's dented to hell. They put hail dents all over it. Every time it catches the light, it looks like a preteen. Hmm. <laughs> it looks like a cat. Wait, go back to the 78 Bolt. 78. Where am I looking? Might have been on the same page as uh. Cargo? The... Oh, the Chapman? Yeah. He's saying page two, so yeah. The Chapman. Oh, boy. Looks like a Seville. <laughs> Come back up. <laughs> um... Oh, uh, what do we want? Um, probably under bolt. What do I have for bolt? Yeah, we'll have to play a little bit off stream and decide what the next one's going to be. Because I don't actually have an idea yet. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, Chase, why don't we go ahead and wrap here? Hey. Chat, thank you guys so much for sticking with us. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with our four hours of Minecraft. This has been Custom Games. Chase, say goodbye. Yeah. And chat, I have one question for you. I want for some customs. Bye.